Hi Crafties, it's Tree. I hope you're having a good and crafty day. I'm here with a project share for In Love Arts. I love working with In Love Arts and I've been working with them for some time now. Um, they do offer a 25% off code and it is capital Tree Craft On, all one word and only the T is capitalized. So uh, definitely look for that. And um, the information for this die set as well as the rest of the dies that I got in this pick will be in the description box below as well as in love art shop and the coupon code so you don't have to memorize a whole lot <laughs> all right I also want to thank each and every one of you who have been uh, showing your crafty love and support with me and my channel I greatly appreciate you all and um, I want to ask if you have not already please like subscribe ring that bell and leave a friendly comment below so this one is called the mailbox and it's right there it's got six pieces you get three different size envelopes which come in very handy um the mailbox itself is some hearts and i've been using these as letters to stuff in there um and the first one i made is all flat um so this one has a offset so that you see the profile of the mailbox but I wanted this one to be straight on, so I just went ahead and cut out the uh, square and put it more center, and uh, you can kind of see that. And to, the offset would be on this side, but to offset the offset, I put these um, letters hanging over the edge here. Um, mail came from this Paige Evans collection that Marianne gifted me. Thank you, Marianne. Um, I do have a video for that. And... Um, so I did do the letters and the hearts, and Christmas is just a die from a um, something I got from Amazon a long time ago. And these would be really cute with feet. Oh my gosh. It just dawned on me. I wonder if these are the feet for the mailbox and not the letters. Would that make sense? I don't know. It could be both. Oh, okay, no worries. <laughs> Next time. Oh, so cute. I, I really love this die, and I had a lot of fun creating with it. So um, I did make another one, and it is a shaker. Um, I use these silicone letter beads from Timu, and um, I cut them in half, at least, and uh, have shaker bits in there. I wish I would have thickened it up a little bit more. Uh, the beads are getting on top of the sequins and getting stuck. <laughs> but you can still hear it shake. All right, the snowflakes and all the trim here. The trim came from a hot cocoa or a hot drink um, dye. And I think that the snowflakes and the hot cocoa drink came from in Love Arts. If not, it was Coco Rosa Studio. So, um, and the Merry Christmas is the same as this one here. So, really cute. And then, hold on. That was my dishwasher telling me it was done. And I try so hard to figure out how to turn off that alarm because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't know about you. I don't like hearing it. All right. So, I decided to make one in pink and I wanted to make it a box. Isn't that cute? I used the um, Prima Frank Garcia Strawberry Milkshake. Uh, this is a strawberry that I got from Amazon. And um, I have a strawberry punch that I got maybe from Amazon. I don't remember. And you can see the cute little envelopes. I used one down here and then I used the little square here as a little tiny envelope. Got some more up here and this one doesn't open but I went ahead and opened it down here so that it would be a box and it could be filled uh, there is an opening there right there so got to be a little careful maybe I'll put a little glue right there and hold on to, I don't know I, I, I kept the opening but uh, I also put the little thing there so how did I make this <laughs> I just cut the front out and I cut out this edge here so that it was just that. And then I traced it and cut it out a second time for here. And then I cut, figured out how wide I wanted it. And you can see right here, 
I just did the little triangles to make little teeth, you know, to fold over and glued the front and the back on. And then I um, covered it with decorative paper. And then you just make a square and you cut the little tabs. And one of them I put inside right here and glued it down to make that. And then I added the little strawberry and I glued it to this tab and then I used my uh, blade cutter to cut around there and uh, create a little tab. Might not last forever but it's it's there and it's cute. So that's that. I made another one in Christmas because we love Christmas mail. And this one actually, I put a handle on it so it will open right there. And I have the same little greenery here and a bow from a cake uh, die. I probably in Love Arts as well. I tried when I work with In Love Arts, I try to use all their dies as much as possible. And when I work with Coco Rosa Studio, I try to use theirs. If I'm working with Tonic, then I'm using theirs. And so on and so forth. But I can't always do that. And so I don't mind mixing and matching to get a look. So this one, I went ahead and just have a little tab. And it opens up like that. Same as the other one. But I just didn't decorate the tab. I just created a little um, arch. I've been thinking about putting a little flower on there or something. But um, I don't know. I'm kind of liking it as is. So um, that's that. I thought I made another one. Oh well. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So those are my project shares. I hope you like them. I hope you um, give this die a try. It is a whole lot of fun. Obviously, obviously it's a lot of fun. I've been having fun creating with this. So I will catch you in my next video. Until then, God bless you and yours. Bye for now.